So, hood and politics, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm from the hood, but I'm not into politics, you know what I mean? Uh, all of my life, I have never really had anybody around me that really informed me on any politicians or how even important it is to for the local elections, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times, we only thought voting for the president is all you have to do. Whenever election time come around, you just vote, you know, just vote. And a lot of times, we go there, don't know who the people is, and just circle anybody name, you know what I mean? But now as I got older, man, I understand the value of the local elections, you know what I'm saying? And how much voting for the local chairman and councilman and all that is really almost more important than the federal, you know what I mean? So just explain more about how important it is for the hood and the politics to get our people informed on what's going on in the politics. Man, good question, man. Listen, um, <clears throat> First and foremost, we just want to, you know, put this on record. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all recording this. Just, you know, might have to double back and look at it again. But we want to just say this, man. Let everybody know that's out there. Hood in the politics is not about Republican. It's not about Democrats. It's not about just the government. It's about the people within the communities, the neighborhoods, and most importantly, the underserved neighborhoods. Hood in the politics, we are standing up for them people, those people. The other people that uh, all the politicians and all the statistics say that are not voting. The 18 between 35, them the ones that's not voting. Why? Because they're too distracted. You know what I mean? You have all these different artists. You got all these different TV shows. You got this tragedy, this chaos, people dealing with depression, people dealing with anxiety, people just dealing with everyday life. So they ain't got time to be worrying about what's going on with the politicians, who doing what. As long as they have a job, they are comfortable. And we, the hood and the politics, we're coming in all the neighborhoods all across the nation. We ain't just talking about Houston. You know, this ain't just no Houston thing. It ain't about no Democrat or no Republican. It's about the people in the communities that's fed up. And Old we the hood. Huh? Old and young. Old and young. And the hood and the politics, we're standing up for them. So right now we have so many things going on. We're tapping in with so many different organizations and people that's just tired. You know, so it's about hood and politics uniting and shout out to my sister cliche, igniting the community to get out, get registered and let's get voted. We ain't going to just be up there at the polls pushing Democrat, pushing Republican, because those buttons already got people selected. Well, you got hood in the politics. We out here. We figuring out who's doing what within our communities. What are what have you done within our communities? Will you be a great candidate for our communities? And we're getting to the bottom line because we're gonna hold all the politicians, all all the way up to the mayor. And then by the I, I would say by next year we ought to be all the way up to the presidency. You know what I mean? With the same mission about all our low income, underserved communities and neighborhoods across all nations. So side to hood and politics. Listen, y'all need to tap in with us, man. Partner with us. What you say, big brother? Listen, what I got to tell y'all about the hood and the politics is how our community has the power. I'm telling you. But well, we got to wake up, though. Listen, how you wake up is you listen to Malcolm X speech, the ballad of the bullet. The deal is I can't play it for you because they going to charge me for it. They ain't going to let me here. You got to take time out for yourself. You got to educate yourself. You got to spend time. I've been doing this, let me tell you, since Barbara, not Barbara Jordan, but uh, 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 Kathy Whitmire. Kathy Whitmire was the first gay, white woman mayor and 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 so you want to know about who's running for office sheila jackson lee want to be the first black mayor it ain't about black white all that it's about who's best for our community and who's negotiating with us so we can have our own trade well, and she, we can have what we she, want in she our might community. she might be the first black woman mayor in houston but at the end of the day, what is she doing in the community? Exactly. So you know that's what, I mean? what so the hood and the politics get to do. We get to we, do that right there. We taking report cards, man. Listen, there you go. We holding everybody accountable all the way from the, the president. We're just, you know what I'm saying? I, I serve a big guard. So right. at the end of the day, listen. We going all the way to the president. What 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 is he doing for our communities, all our low income in communities and how is he helping? Because at the end of the day, you building gardens all around the city of Houston. 
I'm taking kids on events as out in the woods, teaching them uh, uh, how to live off the and land. And we ain't getting no funding from disasters, none of them. Disasters going on. Listen, don't people was was out power. They couldn't cook. Why? Because they ain't have and no we had type to of show them how to do it. No type of life skills. And that's what I'm all about. You about living? We, we about living we off the land. We qualified. We qualified. We the workers. At the end of the day, when it comes to the unions. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Mm-hmm. Had had a, we been doing all the work, but had they helped us? Mm-hmm. That's the thing that we tell trying to tell y'all. They ain't, ain't had they came and helped y'all. Yeah, <laughs> I wait. I wait. Listen. Hood in the politics, we coming all across the country. You know what I'm saying? Houston is just the first stop. We just igniting right here. We just setting it off right here in the Houston. September 16th, man, we got the parade. We got a uh, 2K bike ride uh, coming up on Thursday. Listen, we have, we're dealing with so many organizations. And it's grassroots, and we ain't got no money yet. Oh, boy. And cut.